So tell us about your stage diving. Do you ever get touched inappropriately? <laughs> I do, often. Yeah, uh, and I did wear a kilt recently <gasps> in Scotland. No. Yes. You stage dived I, in a kilt? I did. <laughs> Basically, you're rubbing it in their faces. <laughs> Well, I, but I have, do have to say that uh, I didn't want to put somebody's eye out, so I put some pants on. Oh, that's <laughs> no, you got a gent. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'd love to see that claim in court. I was poked in the eye by Jared Leto's penis. <laughs> <laughs> I won ten thousand pounds. Oh <laughs> God. Well, that's nice that you wore pants because no one wants that. Mm. No, no offence, you're a good-looking guy, but you know what I mean. You uh, want to see yeah. the music, you want to have a dance. You don't of want course. like testicles and. Your... <laughs> You know what? You don't, do you? <laughs> Look at this crowd, yeah. <laughs> bastards. I mean, the shows are really, really fucking great. Can you say fucking? Oh, oh. yeah, and oh. cunt. You... <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I know it's really offensive, but... <laughs> you can't say that, Joan. This is live. <laughs> But the thing is, is the English have the best swear word in the oh, world. Oh, I know. Cunt. I know. <laughs> you seem to do less acting now. Yeah. Is that because you're concentrating on your music and that pays, that sort of pays your bills? I never made a lot of films anyway. I was pretty picky about the films that yeah. I did make. And, uh, you know, I tended to make art movies that very few oh. people probably even ever saw. Um, so it's okay. It works out really well. You've been absolutely brilliant films. Like, I mean, there's an American Psycho, yep. Fight Club, Requiem yep. for a Dream, yep. Panic Room. I yep. mean, you don't half pick a good film. I think they're all quite grim, though, as well, aren't they? Yeah, I've got some issues. You have? I do. S something really grim happens to you in every film you're in. Yeah, I think I die or get injured in every film. Because you were beaten to a pulp in Fight Club. And also, you had your arm amputated yeah. in Requiem for a Dream, which is personally one of my favourite films. Yeah. And we've got a clip of you in American Psycho, which is absolutely brilliant. You're oh, really? again meeting a horrible end. Let's have a look. Why are there copies of the style section all over the place? Do you, do you have a dog? A little chow or something? <laughs> no, Helen. Is that a raincoat? Yes, it is. In 87, Huey released this. Four, their most accomplished album. I think they're undisputed masterpieces. Hip to be square. A song so catchy, most people probably don't listen to the lyrics. But they should, because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of trends. It's also a personal statement about the band itself. Hey, Paul! On with Christian Bale. He's, he's a great actor. Yeah. yeah. But do you remember <clears> last <throat> year when he had a go at that man, that lighting man, when he had a rant yeah. on the set of Terminator? There is, there, yeah, he was like, uh, what did he say? You asshole! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't walk into your lights. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not on your set walking around. Uh, yeah. yeah, just I, like that. I heard that. Yeah. yeah, but was he like that on the set? Because he had no, an axe in his hand. He, he could have gone, he was Hey, great. Jared! <laughs> walk into this! <laughs> Alan, I don't walk into your set. Don't walk into mine. Uh, yeah. Um, I, you know, I think he's a great actor. He was yeah. probably working his ass off and probably yeah. tired and someone was annoying. Yeah. Oh, well, it happens, doesn't it? Hey, hey, don't push me. Oh, God, sir. <laughs> because you're a method actor as well, aren't you? Well, you know, you yeah, I, I appreciate a good challenge and uh, I've taken on a lot of really physical roles. You put on um, Five Stone when you played Mark Chapman. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Mark Chapman is the man who shot uh, John Lennon. Would you say putting on Five Stone, I mean, Stupid. surely that's a sacrifice. It's dumb. To... It's, it is Yeah, dumb. It's, not, it's dumb. It's dumb. Don't ever do it, kids. How, how fat do you, do you... Could you still see your penis? <laughs> They say when you gain weight that your penis shrinks because, I guess, skin pulls on it from the inside. <laughs> that's... So that's why. <laughs> I have to say, uh, I just looked at your penis. <laughs> well, enjoy the ride. Yeah. Get the, fat the big trick for me was every night before I went to bed, 
Uh, I used to like ice cream, hence to say I don't like it anymore. But I used to take uh, a pint or two of chocolate haagen and melt it in the microwave. Mm -hmm. And then I would pour in some olive oil and then get soy sauce from... Am I the only one getting hungry? <laughs> Everyone's going, Ugh. I'm going, mmm. <laughs> but did you find like, surely there must have been some plus signs about getting really fat. There actually was, you know what's interesting is it was totally miserable. I finally felt my thighs rub together, uh, which was a unique feeling. Um, but I got ga I, like gout in my feet, it was really painful. Oh. And uh, I, got, I started, my, my, my cholesterol went up really high because oh, no. I gained it really quickly. Yeah. But one thing I did notice is that I giggled a lot. You got a bubbly personality. I did. <laughs> By being fat. Yes. It's true. Yes. <laughs> well, do you know what, Jared? It's been absolutely lovely talking to you. Good luck with 30 Seconds to Mars. Thank you. Sounds like it's going great anyway. I think you're so funny and so sweet. And I, they sent me your, your clips to watch and then I couldn't stop watching and I was looking on YouTube and... They were so great. I love the one you did with, uh, with Mickey yeah. Rourke. I thought that was so funny. <laughs> Mickey Rourke was so great. He went at the end, Hey, you're a funny cunt. <laughs> That's what he said. Well, maybe, maybe, it should be, maybe it should be tradition now. So you're a funny fucking cunt. <laughs> Jared, that's the nicest thing. I love you. I love you. <laughs> That was the last time. Thank you. Thank you. Jared Leto, everyone. Come on. After the break, John Bishop and Kylie Minogue will be here. See you in part two.